Hi everybody, thank you so much for clicking onto my video. My name is Rebecca Yada, and this channel is gonna be all about skincare and hair care and a little bit of makeup and some fashion content too. So pretty much all things beauty. If that is something that interests you, do not forget to subscribe at the end or the beginning or throughout whatever <laughs> this video and give it a, a thumbs up as well as hit the notification bell. I'm still trying to figure out what days I should post videos. Um, so far, it's been working every Tuesday, um, but I'm not sure I do want to be posting more frequently. I was thinking maybe Tuesday and Friday, I don't know. You guys can let me know if you guys have any suggestions below. So if that's something that is interesting to you, keep on watching. And for today, I bring you guys the tea. I have a tea here today. I bring you guys the tea about what I use on my hair. It was requested to do a hair care video. So I have been in a journey with my hair for years. This is honestly the longest and the healthiest I have ever had my hair. I know you guys are probably thinking like that's not even that long, but for me, this is long. Like I have always had very short hair. I'm gonna put in clips here of what my hair looked like last year. And I always, like, I've always had so much fun with my hair. Like I've had all the colors, I've had red, blonde. I've had very ashy blonde and I think that contributed, actually I don't think, I know, that contributed to my hair damage because I love that ashy, ashy blonde. But as you guys can see, my hair is naturally dark. So of course, all that processing, plus I have naturally curly hair, which you guys will see a little bit of my natural hair in this video. Um, so using hair, using hot tools is definitely not helping but I think I have it down pat, my routine. And um, with the products that I've been using, I have, like I swear by them, they have contributed to my hair being healthier and growing. And of course, trims. My hairdressers have always, well, the hairdressers that I've had in the past have always said like, trim your hair, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I don't wanna trim my hair because I want it to grow, but it's true. Like if you trim your hair and keep your ends super healthy then your hair will grow and that makes total sense um but yeah i used to have such damaged hair that literally like i would have break like i would have pieces of my ends like break off like i would have my clothes with little pieces of hair all over me also don't mind this rash that's been going on i have no idea why um it's not the necklaces i wear these all the time but i think i don't know if it's because i was like overheated or what is going on I didn't even change my soap today, so I don't know what's happening, but just ignore that. <laughs> oh, and I don't know if I mentioned actually, this is chai, a chai tea, and I'm not like huge on tea, actually, don't let this fool you, but I'm trying to be. I wanna be a tea drinker. So the first product is this Amika product. It is called the Amika Reset Pink Charcoal Plea pre-cleansing oil and I use this as my very first step of my hair routine I don't use this every time I wash my hair which by the way I wash my hair twice a week um, but yeah I don't use this every time but the reason why I love this is because I like I said like I try to wash my hair only twice a week and by the third fourth day it like really needs some help and i have built up like sweat from working out and just like dry shampoo and build up and just gross so this helps clear out my scalp and therefore get it prepped for the next products to come and for my shampoo to penetrate properly so um this is definitely a pre-shampoo product and exfoliates the scalp while absorbing all of the dirt and the buildup and the excess oils and removing it from your hair. You could actually, when you put it into your hair, you can sort of see some foam once you start rubbing it in. So as you can see on the clip, it is a very liquidy um, product. It's a very oil-based too. And sometimes if I 
So I section my hair and put this product on my scalp. And then sometimes if I feel like I need a little bit more, I put some on the palm of my hand, rub it onto my hands, and then put it and massage it on my on to my scalp. So the next product is another Amica product. Oops, I've still like hair in it. Um, and this is the Amica Soul Food Nourishing Mask. And this one on the website says that it deeply conditions and hydrates, restores and repairs damaged hair, improves softness, shine, and elasticity. It also has jojoba seed oil, which contains powerful antioxidants for the hair. And it is rich in vitamin A, D, and E. So it has a lot of really good ingredients in here. And it has another ingredient that's called sea buckhorn and this is rich in fatty acids and omega c so yeah this is really good um as you can see on the clip it has a very cons it has a very thick consistency and there is a smell to it but it's not a smell that will end up in your hair like throughout the day um it just smells nice while you're putting it on and then of course you'll be washing it once you start your shampoo and it will go away but while you're doing the process there is fragrance just so you guys know if that is something that bothers you this product it does say to sit in your hair it has to sit in your hair for five to seven minutes sometimes i leave it on for longer and it also does say that you have to put it on to wet hair so i don't like to like shampoo my hair and then sit there in the tub like freezing cold while my mask is on so what i actually do is that i while the oil like scalp cleanser is on my scalp um i wet my hair and then i put this amica product on to my ends i do not put it on my roots just because i already have like um oily prone hair and it's just better to just put it on your ends so what i do is that i actually wet my hair first and then i put this on very similar to the olaplex hair mask that i also love um that one you do have to have wet Hair. so that's how I put this mask with wet hair because that's what it indicates on there and next the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner there so these ones are almost done um, but this is like my third time using these I have not found a dupe for these yet I have not found anything comparable to these and it is true there's a lot of hype around these products and they are right <laughs> like i swear by them i feel like this is what has helped my hair the most aside for trims um because i still used to get trims before but like i would always straighten my hair still like i said and and dyed it a lot so and my hair would still break off at the end and this like these two products have helped so much with breakage because i i guess i'm very breakage prone plus all the stuff i do to my hair and these really 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 have helped i love them they are pricey but a little bit comes a long way especially for the, con the shampoo it does foam very easily you actually don't need that much and because i only wash my hair twice a week i do feel like it's okay to buy them because they do last me a very long time and you don't need that much so of course that depends if you have a lot longer hair you obviously will be needing more um but i also have very thick hair too so i don't know sort of depends on your hair but i have not found a dupe for these yet if you guys have any recommendations of shampoos that you have found that are similar to olaplex let me know but um another one that i've tried that i also really liked i guess but i just went back to the olaplex again was the um purology like the purology was really really nice as well um i really loved it it was soft but after just using it a few times it was like my hair went just back to like feeling weird and dry and frizzy like it, it was just like that initial wash that made my hair feel super nice but these ones like never let me down like they're so good i just love them like if these were like if these were a person i'd probably marry them like they're just so good I'm gonna have a little bit more my tea okay so they actually if you are wanting to try these they do have a holiday gift set at sephora where you can buy the shampoo the conditioner the i believe it's a number three mask and then the bond oil and the products are 
I believe it said 100 milliliters and these are 250 so you do get less product but it's still worth it in my opinion because you still get to try all three and it still has a decent amount in there and you get the bond oil for the full size of it which is a pretty small oil but a little bit comes a long way you do it does come included and just that oil is like 38 dollars plus tax so i think if you are a beginner to olaplex and you don't want to commit to buying the bottle you can get that gift set and try it out first we do have a patent ingredient called and i will be putting the name on the screen because we all know i'm so horrible at pronouncing things um bis amino propylyl oh my gosh dig <laughs> Diglycol demiliates. I feel like if I was like a like a um, a chemist or something, like I would be so embarrassing doing presentations and I don't know how to pronounce anything. But anyways, they have a patent bond building technology that rebuilds broken and weakened bonds, and that is like what they stand for. They have amazing ingredients here. If you guys wanted a video to, for me to dive deep into just Olaplex, let me know. For time's sake, I won't go into all of the details of the ingredients just so that this video is not like extremely long it's on the website it does say that repairs maintains bonds with the hair eliminates frizz and flyaways and reduces breakage yes they do and this is what they claim so they have thermal damage so hair that gets straightened curled with the curling iron blowout brushes all of those thermal damages this will help with it chemical factors like bleaching hair dyeing perm relaxers all of that this will help um is what they claim i personally haven't done any like relaxers or anything like that but i have done bleaching and yeah near the end of last year i think i believe it was my hair was still blonde and this was starting to help a lot but i decided to totally relax my hair and i went back to my natural color um because i want to let it grow out a lot more and have it like fully healthy but i know girls that have their hair really ashy and they dye their hair blonde constantly swear by these as well and then mechanical factors such as tugging of the hair brushing your hair twirling your hair i have a horrible bad habit of twirling my hair environmental factors so it actually they do claim to be helping with uv protection as well as cold weather these are the olaplex shampoo and conditioner i am obsessed and honestly it's the truth i am not like i feel like i sound like a salesperson but like i honestly do not recommend things unless i love them people in my inner circle will know that i truly love olaplex i have mentioned them before it's like almost finished and i will be repurchasing these because it has saved my hair the next product is the olaplex number no. six bond smoother and it's a leave-in reparative cream or creme and eliminates frizz nourishes and protects so this is what i put on when i come out of the shower and then i put a little bit onto my hand the only thing i will say about this one downsize that i have of this is more of like something silly i guess but it just like doesn't come out of the bottle like it's so hard like it's just i don't know it's just insane it's so thick um so what i do is that i just open it up and then scoop it with my finger which i prefer not to do but i have to because it just does not come out but also little bit comes a long way i feel like that's the really nice thing about these olaplex is that they're so concentrated you don't need a ton and i learned the hard way because i remember when i first used this i hated it like i actually did i had i started off with a small sample size and i remember not liking it at all because i used way too much and then my hair turned sticky like it felt like i had like gum in my hair a little bit like it was just so sticky i couldn't style it it was felt so weird i felt like i already had to wash it so if you have not used this before only use a little bit and i'm like not joking if you have to go back again use more but like as you can see in the clip i probably i paused because i actually had to wipe some off with toilet paper um, because i used too much and you honestly do not need a lot at all the next one 
is Olaplex again. I know I sound like I'm selling Olaplex. I am not sponsored by any means. I'm like a brand new YouTube channel, so no one is sponsoring me at all. Highly concentrated, ultra lightweight, reparative oil, and it is actually, as you can see, I have to order more, but I really wanted to mention it in this video, but I hardly have any left. And, but it did last me for months, months, and months. Um, and what I like to do also is that I like to mix it in with the Olaplex number six bond smoother and mix it in with the oil and then put it onto my hair. And I just feel like it leaves like the perfect smoothness and helps style my hair so quick because that's another thing too. This reparative styling cream helps with the blow dry process helps with the blow dry process and makes it a lot quicker, which I love because I have a lot of hair and I do not want to be spending forever straightening it or passing the blow dryer brush to it. And lately I've been loving my blow dryer brush and giving my hair blowouts. And I actually straightened my hair with that brush. Like right now I straightened it and then I passed it with the straightener to curl it. But like I initially had to straighten it. I initially straightened it with a blow dryer brush because I can't just like come out of the shower and then do my hair. It's too curly to do that. Um, but this bond smoother helps so you can end up with a nice, beautiful blowout with such smooth hair and it just looks amazing. And the heat protectant goes up to 450 Fahrenheit, 230 Celsius. So it is safe to put, it is safe to use for heat. Hi guys, sorry for the random clip that was added here. This is future Rebecca editing. I realized I forgot to talk about this product somehow, um, but this is the BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil. I will put the name on the screen. And this is a heat protectant. The mist is very, very fine. It does not weigh your hair down. And it's my latest addition and I have been loving it lately. And then the next product is my Amika blow dryer brush. I love this so much. I bought this, um, I bought this last year at Sephora. I bought it during Christmas, the Christmas holidays. Um, I had gift cards for Christmas, so I took advantage and and used them to buy my tool that i've been eyeing this thing for so long it was actually another girl on youtube that i follow and she does a lot of hair like videos and she was talking about this and she has really long thick curly hair like even longer than mine thicker than mine i like to follow people that have like similar skin issues to me and like see what they recommend or i like to follow videos with that has like girls with like a lot of hair um trying products so that i can have like a better idea um like for example the dyson air wrap no way will that work on me like i feel like you have to have thinner hair to like wrap it around the the wand and for me i just feel like that would not work so thank god you know although it's like, super expensive so i don't even know if i'll get that but anyways so this blow dry brush is what i use to straighten my hair now for the most part um it is so good and it has very as you can see in the video too can't really tell too much on camera but it has very tiny little bristles um as well as the bigger bristles I feel like the nice bristles or bristles bristles um, is what helps smooth the hair and leave you that beautiful nice smooth look um, and one other thing that I like is that the cord turns 180 so you don't have to worry about it getting tangled all over your body when you're doing your hair or having to move around too much because this will move with you and it does not get too hot it is not too too loud in my opinion it doesn't bother me it doesn't ring my ears or anything like that it's so nice and there is three different settings on the blow dryer brush and honestly i just love it like i love love this hair tool i have been obsessed with it i do blowouts with this and i straighten it my hair i straighten my hair with this um the only thing i can say which is not really an issue with this is more of a me issue is that because i have curlier hair my roots i 
I'm very particular with my roots. Like I always want to straighten my roots. I don't like that super voluminous look at the back. And because this is so big, although that's why I love it because it grabs so much hair, um, I do have to go in with my hair straightener after and just touch up my roots. But that's just me. I feel like if you don't have super curly hair, you might not have that issue. Um, but yeah, it doesn't grab onto the roots very well just because it's so big, but that's also why I love it. So yeah, this is the Amika blow dryer brush and I swear by it. I feel like this has also contributed to my hair growth because um, instead of putting the hot straightener onto my hair strands, it's just hot air. And I always like the look of blowouts and I always and I always wanted to do that and set my hair to burn it less. But um, I was just never good at um, like doing it myself at home because I just I just can't maneuver both of those things at the same time. So if you want to give your hair a blowout look, um, and if you would like a tutorial also leave a comment down below um, but if you would like a blowout look and you don't know how to do with the blow dryer and the round brush like me then I feel like this would be an amazing fit for you and then final product is my hair straightener um, I don't have another video to include for this because I forgot but this is the Tytron. I don't know. There's nothing like super special. This strainer is honestly super old, but I thought I would mention this video because I wanted it to I wanted to accurately say what I've been using. And this one I've had it for quite a bit of years actually. I feel like I've had this for four or five years. And it goes up to 450 Fahrenheit. And you can choose the different volumes here. And this one I bought it at Trade Secrets. And the reason why I love this one is because the plates are actually very small and I wanted a straightener that could also curl my hair. So this is what I use to curl my hair. The reason why I love this is because you can go like high, high up to your roots, like pretty much touching your scalp. And then also you could also use this to curl your hair because it's not really big. So it won't leave like that choppiness to it. And I don't know, I just, I have a curling iron at home, but I never reach out for it. I just curl it with a straightener. So I don't really need to reach out for my, um, curling iron and I feel like this also makes my curls last a lot longer than doing it with the curling iron and now my tea is like super cold but that's okay so that is the end of my video those are all the things that I currently use there's other products that I love to use that I have used before but they are not the ones that I'm currently using so I wanted to talk to you guys about what I currently use um, but if there's any other products you would like me to review if it's hair masks different shampoos and conditioners I might do one um, but definitely I'm open to trying hair masks I don't know if I will play around with different shampoo and conditioners I would really have to love that shampoo and conditioner to ditch it for my Olaplex but yeah that's the end of this video thank you so much for clicking and see you next time bye